good evening to you and i'm very glad you're watching this i love doing live sessions on facebook and instagram because in these live sessions we are talking about something which is commonly on many people's mind but people are not talking enough about it there are a lot of trending topics where everybody is probably saying just the same things but there are some very very important questions the answers to which are not yes no answers the answers to which need to be explained the perspective needs to be explained how it varies from person to person to be explained and not many people are giving this explanation especially if you are somebody who is suffering from polycystic ovarian syndrome or polycystic ovarian disease or somebody in your family has a PCOS or PCOD problem yes they are the same problem they can be called as PCOD or PCOS which is a hormonal problem seen in many women of reproductive age so many women between the age of 15 and 50 are having concerns of polycystic ovarian disease or syndrome and this is more common than ever and this polycystic ovarian syndrome can cause a lot of skin hair and weight issues so they have a lot of aesthetic needs they have to do things to keep their skin and hair healthy they have to do things to keep their central obesity which means the belly fat in check and they have a hard time doing it they respond very slowly to the treatments that regular people respond to and hence many times people with pcos are frustrated people with pcos sometimes think is it even working for me or not so there are a lot of questions that people with pcos ask women with pcos ask and then there is nobody giving them the nitty gritties there's nobody giving them the explanation sometimes they have just the answers but i think many times you also need to understand why does it happen can this be solved will this be guaranteed like it is guaranteed like today the topic is laser hair reduction so laser hair reduction results are guaranteed in women who are hormonally normal but then people want to know that unwanted facial hair unwanted body hair is very common in girls who have pcos so they need it a lot more than people who are hormonally balanced need it so the paradox here is if you have pcod pcos you will have unwanted facial and body hair this condition is known as hirsutism and if you have pcos the response of laser hair reduction to this unwanted facial and body hair is going to be different from the response of the laser hair reduction in women who do not have hormonal concerns so people with pcos have this question is it even worth for me to undergo a laser hair reduction because i have been told that the results of laser hair reduction will be compromised in my case so of course most of my conversations at least the fb live conversations because they are half an hour long conversations they are not a yes no answer they are answers which make you understand why your body behaves the way it behaves and this understanding is going to empower you do the right things or not do the right things because once you understand what exactly is happening in your body and why it is behaving the way it is behaving you will be in a much better position to not just make one decision for the question that is nagging you but you will be able to make several decisions for several similar questions it'll be easier for you to make daily choices and you can be a healthier version of yourself so though skin sense is an aesthetic clinic a beauty clinic but we are clear that beauty is about being awesome inside out so all my conversations are about being the healthiest version of yourself on the inside being the healthiest version of yourself at a cellular level and as a 
why product you have amazing skin amazing hair and an amazing body shape yes you are beautiful yes everybody is beautiful but the question is are you taking responsibility to be the best version of yourself and if you're not taking responsibility to be the best version of yourself and you're not taking that responsibility because you think it's very difficult i can tell you for a fact that no once you find the right fit it's very very easy suppose there are some thoughts in your mind that i have questions and i haven't got clarity that is why i'm not taking any decision i am here to give you clarity complete understanding so if you are a skin sense client if you have had anything to do with skin sense or anything to do with me also you know that i am not here to impress anybody i am not here to convince anybody i am only here to share the best practices to give you crystal clear clarity on what works what doesn't work what would i do if i were in your shoes so we are going to have only such conversations because every doctor's duty so i will speak for myself is to help you take an informed decision i often see people in an inaction i often see people sitting on the fence not taking the next step because they are not sure of what that right next step is so here we are going to help you take an informed decision if you have polycystic ovarian syndrome and you're looking at using lasers for unwanted facial hair i would also want to tell you here that a lot of people in fact i think 3 out of 5 women in reproductive age today have mild to moderate rate pcos that's how common pcos is and they are quite a uh, frustrated or they're quite confused about what decision to take so this video would be really helpful to many many people so if you see value in this communication and you want to think that why not share this video because somebody could find their answer from this and yes this answer this decision making capability that they get after this conversation could be a life changing decision so i would request you to share this video on your timeline or probably copy link and share it with your friends who you know have a hormonal problem who have unwanted facial and body hair who you know have polycystic ovarian syndrome so let's come back to polycystic ovarian syndrome and hair unwanted hair growth so when a person has a polycystic ovarian syndrome like the name suggest it has to do with the cysts in the ovary which is the reproductive organ of a female and these cysts cysts in the ovary are going to cause hormonal imbalance so we know that the female hormones the hormones which are active in the reproductive age a lot of these hormones are secreted by the ovary and when there are cysts in the ovary the amount of hormone secreted is not what it is when there are no cysts in the ovary because of which women have hormonal imbalance so the hormones that we are talking about is estrogen progesterone and testosterone you need not get the names even if you just get the concept this conversation is going to be very useful to you so what happens is even males have female hormones the female hormones are estrogen and progesterone and even females have male hormones which is a testosterone but there is a certain amount of female hormones and a certain amount of male hormones which is normal in a female body and a male body of course but right now we are talking about the female body so there's a certain amount of testosterone that is expected in a female body and a certain amount of estrogen progesterone in the case of pcod there is more than needed testosterone in the female body so the male hormone is more in a female body so the female start seeing several changes in the body which are like the male start seeing the changes in the body so we know that when a female hits puberty yes we know because she starts menstruating a man 
he hits puberty he becomes hormonally an adult there are some changes that we see in men too that are visible in men like facial hair like more body hair in some men there is frontal thinning that becomes visible so we are all aware of the changes that happen in a male body as the male becomes a hormonal adult so when there is excess testosterone in a female body the female also starts showing some such changes in her body so there is unwanted facial hair so upper lip chin side locks even on the face so they, we all have hair but we all generally most of us have hair which is not visible across social distance some of us may have slightly more visible hair but that could be because genetically some people are more hairy than the others genetically some people have very fine hair and some other people have slightly thicker or coarse hair so laser hair reduction is the treatment of choice if you if your hair is visible unwanted hair is visible across social distance but then some people have really bad growth of hair really thick looking hair and i'm sure you know about them i have clients like that come day in and day out i have clients feel upset because they are being teased by their friends you know if it's a young girl she's being teased by her friends for having this kind of facial hair uh, bec- and i i always say this i've said this before also so people can be very touchy about the way they look so before you make a joke about somebody's physical appearances i think you must think twice yes you there are it's it's just a joke it's finally just a joke and nobody needs to take it personally that is the bigger part of the story but having said that somebody who's battling with a problem and that problem is anyways causing them a lot of agony and some problems like PCOS they are not very very easy to treat so people who have PCOS are doing everything their doctor is telling them their endocrinologist or gynecologist is telling them but the results are very slow and steady so i'll just take a minute to make a personal request to you that please do not make personal comments on certain changes in a female body especially if she has unwanted facial or body hair probably she is already going through a low self esteem because she is suffering from pcod so here we want to say that we understood the fact about the unwanted hair being excessive so bad that the person can't even ignore it so in normal people sometimes they have more facial hair sometimes they have more body hair now should this facial hair or body hair uh, bother you so if i if i have facial uh, body hair here or if i have a little facial hair here should that bother me at all now that's a very very personal choice so i can let it not bother me it doesn't look very unhygienic if we are talking about something like an underarm hair i would still say that if somebody wears a spaghetti or somebody wears a sleeveless they would be more comfortable if they can get rid of the hair because it looks unclean but if you have a bit of facial hair or you have a bit of hair on your arms or legs you can absolutely ignore it but if this hair is too much if this hair is abnormally visible i think it is not possible for you to ignore it and in many people who have pcod the unwanted hair is too visible the unwanted hair makes people notice that something is wrong with this person and there is so much of facial hair so we will stick to the point of facial hair and not move to the unwanted body hair because you all know that i like to keep it simple i like to keep it as less complicated as possible so that you get clear about certain basic concepts and you get empowered to take action i do not want to overwhelm you by putting in too many aspects in the same thing so assuming a person has unwanted upper lip hair definitely it is something that bothers her now she comes to a doctor so let's take the case of a girl called chandni chandni is not her real name because i do not want to discuss the medical history of some people suppose somebody just asked me a question about hair growth or somebody asked me a question about how can i make my hair softer to touch i would probably tell you the story as it is but when it comes to clients who have 
PCOD. I think I'm not going to share the names, but yes, I will tell you the story as it is. So Chandini came to me and she had upper lip hair and this upper lip hair was very, very prominent. Chandini works in an MNC. She meets a lot of people. She makes presentations. She is impeccably dressed. It is definitely not easy for her to ignore this or not give it importance because she is aware that wherever she goes, people are noticing that this abnormal upper lip hair is more than it is in most of the people. Yes, she may not, they may not be, everybody may not be pointing it out to her, but definitely people are thinking about it because it looks simply too obvious and Chandini knows she's constantly Constantly, kind of there's a parallel track in her mind because she knows that people are noticing this and people are talking to themselves about why does this girl have unwanted facial hair, why is it so prominent, what exactly is wrong because for a female to have too much facial hair, you know how bad it looks. So what did Chandni do? Chandni decided to use what everybody else was using. Chandni started using uh, threading, Chandni started using waxing, but then with threading or waxing, because of the high testosterone in Chandni's body, this facial hair comes back in three days. And every three days, Chandni had to keep going back to the salon for a threading or a waxing. Now, how annoying is that? All of us who are in good positions, all of us who are doing meaningful things and then we all have a social life too, we all like to enjoy. So it is so cumbersome to have to be held ransom by something like this that embarrasses you and to keep going to the salon to get rid of this hair. So at a point Chani was quite frustrated and she googled and googled and somewhere she got convinced that laser hair reduction could be a solution for her. So then she came to me and she wanted to understand permanent laser hair reduction using the diode laser. Now, thankfully for me, Chani was a very well-read girl. She was a very smart girl. And I'm so happy that I have clients who ask me the right questions. Because once you ask me the right questions and I am able to answer them, not in one sentence, but I'm exactly able to tell you the reason that you are facing, the challenge that you're facing, I promise you that you will know how you can make lifestyle changes and how you can be healthier and how you can get rid of your problem. So when Chani started talking to me, the one question she asked me, which I think is a brilliant question and this is the topic of today's conversation because polycystic ovarian syndrome girls need to hear this, that if I do a laser hair reduction, will it respond at all? I know that the laser hair reduction is a very good treatment. I know that so many people have got delightful results. They have got freedom from unwanted hair. But then I also know, I have googled and found out, I also know that in cases that have polycystic ovarian syndrome, laser hair reduction may not really work. So she told me that she wants to hear the real truth. She wants to understand whether it is worthwhile for somebody who's battling with PCOS, who's not able to get her hormones under control. Does it make sense for her to go for laser hair reduction? Do you think this is a very, very valid question? Because on one end, she wants to get rid of her unwanted hair. And on the other end, she is aware that this choice may not work for her. So she doesn't want to unnecessarily spend the money, spend the time, and most important, be frustrated again. So let me explain this to you rather than answer this to you. So laser hair reduction is going to, so if you heard me right, I use the word laser hair reduction. So it is not a removal process. It is a reduction process where your hair gets miniaturized to a vellus hair. So hair becomes very, very thin. Your hair becomes very, very weak like people had before they became hormonally active like a baby hair. This hair is no longer visible, but this hair still 
exist because skin without any hair at all if you're going to strip the skin completely of the hair it is not healthy there are some complications even if you see a bald man his his bald area of the scalp does not look healthy so the hair we have body hair we have facial hair skin has hair because hair has a purpose to serve so it is definitely not good not a good idea to get rid of hair completely and these devices these medical devices which do give these kind of magical results they also cause hair reduction and not hair removal so with a laser even if we get their hair reduced significantly the problem is because the hair regrowth is triggered by testosterone so it is seen that people who have uncontrolled pcods even if a very very good laser is used and a very very good session gives them good reduction in hair in a very little time because of the testosterone acting in the body from inside the hair is capable of growing back again because what we have done is we have made it very weak we have not killed it so in the presence of testosterone it is possible that the hair grows again so this is a real challenge and people with pcod need to understand that probably they may feel the most frustrating part of pcod is having this facial hair but then getting rid of your facial hair by lasers of course it's a very very smart decision and i will tell you why i feel so strongly that it's a smart decision but then you need to understand that that hasn't changed your pcod on the inside and you have to take responsibility with the partnership of a doctor a wellness consultant or dermatologist can help you an endocrinologist can help you or a gynecologist can help you a proper dietitian who can help you lose belly fat or central obesity can help you so here i'm kind of giving you a sense of direction because as much as it is important to get rid of that annoying facial hair it is equally or even more important to start working on your polycystic ovarian syndrome and to get to a normal hormonal state because if you are hormonally imbalanced you have too many irritating problems throughout that really important 30 35 years of your life so here i would tell you that yes getting treatment of pcod is long and it requires certain lifestyle changes it's not just like you know you pop a pcod pill and you can get rid of it certain lifestyle changes you will have to make so another thing you might have heard me say even before that you cannot hire somebody to do your push ups for you you have to do them yourself so if you have a metabolic concern a uh, lifestyle problem you will have to take the responsibility to do your bit to get your body into healthy uh, you know a healthy being state or a healthy cellular state and all these other things are support all these other things are definitely going to help you but if you are unhealthy on the inside you cannot be excellent on the outside i think it makes no sense to not get healthy on the inside and only seek to be beautiful on the outside if this makes sense to you give me a thumbs up because through all my life conversations through all my conversations there is a lot to learn but even if you just learn this little thing that awesome inside out is the best way to be beautiful now and for years to come i'll be very very happy if because you know this seems so simple but then when i see most people i see that they are only and only looking for quick fixes so as i talk about this concept as i say awesome inside out i think everybody says yes you're right but examine your own self when you take decisions are you thinking in terms of awesome inside out or are you only thinking in terms of some kind of quick fix so coming back to why i believe that they should go for laser sessions so number 1 if you have pcos and you go for laser sessions your results may be 
20 to 30 to 40 percent less than that of a person who is hormonally extremely healthy so you may get up to 40 percent less results but nevertheless you're getting 60 percent results what we have seen we'll go back to Chani. yes she did take the package of laser hair reduction so initially Chani used to have to go to a salon every three days but once she started the laser she could see that she got freedom from hair at least her hair wouldn't come back for 15 to 20 days so that was a big jump somebody who had to go to the salon every three days and now has to go to the salon only or rather has to come to the clinic for her laser treatment only once in 15 to 20 days you can imagine how delighted Chani was also one more thing Chani noticed was some of her hair was not coming back so even though her hair was coming back it was not as prominent as it was before and she felt a lot less embarrassed and a lot more hygienic hygienic I say because that was Chani's word she said I used to feel very unclean with all that facial hair and now I feel very clean and hygienic so she started feeling nice about herself another thing that happened is one is the time got increased second is the number of hair became less and also the thickness of hair kept reducing session by session so Chani would say that she had very very thick hair in fact I had also seen what a thick hair Chani had but after her laser sessions her hair became much thinner it became much less prominent it did not look like a man's mustache or a man's beard and which was very relieving to Chani and you can imagine it would definitely be relieving to anybody who has PCOD now the problem is normally a person may need anywhere between 6 to 8 to 10 to sometimes 12 sessions but Chani almost needed 18 sessions so this was like she probably needed twice the number of sessions that a person who's hormonally balanced would be needing but Chani said it was still absolutely worth it because her problem was really really annoying it was taking away her time and her productive time it was on her mind pulling her energy down so I feel just because you will need double the number of sessions that shouldn't be a deterrent you just need to accept our bodies are different our challenges are different so one shouldn't say that you know either I will wait till I can get results in six sessions or I will not do it at all so having this extreme approach yes being an extremist is has its own values but not everywhere you need to analyze if being an extremist is working for you in this area or is actually just coming from some fear or ego or some stubbornness or something about not accepting reality because being an extremist will serve you few times but will not like uh, being an extremist when it comes to believing your dreams being an extremist when it comes to making things happen that is possible but being an extremist everywhere in my humble uh, opinion it doesn't serve every time you need to understand whether it is working for you I'm bringing this up because a lot of people have said that oh it's going to take you're not sure of how many sessions it's going to take you say it may take even more than 15 sessions depending on how my hormones behave I think I will not take up but not taking up is staying with that burden going to the salon every three or four days and I think that's absolutely not feasible and that's so annoying in today's time when women are doing the unimaginable now why did Chandni get results of course she got slow results people have got results in eight sessions whereas Chani took 18 sessions to, to get results so of course she got slow results but some people have been texting me from different parts of India and saying that they have PCOD and they haven't got results even after 20 sessions yes the hair thickness has significantly gone down the hair number has gone down and even the hair doesn't grow as bad as it used to before it takes a long time to grow yes they are feeling a lot relieved please please note this point that even if you can't get a complete riddance even if you get a huge relief it is going to be worth your time it is going to be worth your money it is definitely a smart decision because you get 
60 to 70 percent relief only thing is you may have to take more number of sessions yes we constantly counsel our patients about how important it is to make lifestyle changes to lose your belly fat to make right decisions to use some stress relieving practices and we have helped most of our clients reverse their PCOD with healthy practices and the better and better they get hormonally the more balanced they get hormonally the better results their lasers show and in a few extra sessions they are able to get as good a result that anybody else can get but of course a huge part of the credit goes to them because unless I always say that an aesthetic clinic is a partnership between a doctor or a team of doctors and the client so if you are not going to take responsibility of your bit then it will not be possible for only a doctor to create miracles in lifestyle problems i hope this is very very clear so i would end this conversation we've already exceeded our time by two three minutes but i would end this conversation by saying that even if it is going to take a few more sessions i think instead of just sitting over the problem because that problem is quite annoying i think you should just accept in certain cases that yes it's going to take double the number of sessions and go for it even if it is going to go away only to some extent and some part of it is going to stay i think even that is so much better somebody who was going and getting their threading done every three days now she has to come and get a laser done only once a month i think it's a huge relief for her so even if your results are going to be slow and your results are going to be partial because you have a hormonal problem and i said that awesomeness can come only when we get better on the inside so even if it is taking time i still think it is worth it and if the sometimes if your PCOD is not controlled and your testosterone levels jump up again fortunately in Chani's case she has maintained her results in fact it's over two years she had her last session and she has maintained her results but in some people they put on weight or they undergo a lot of stressful conditions or some new cysts grow they see that this unwanted hair has come back so just in case this unwanted hair comes back you may have to go for few more sessions because in the first place it was only laser hair reduction and now that you have hormonally changed the hair may grow back so many people say what's the whole point if you're telling me that the hair may grow back after a few years here i have an important thing to say is first and foremost let's be partners and you take the responsibility for your hormones being in control i will definitely guide you the best way to do it but then god forbid if it has to come back if you're not able to manage all those factors and it still comes back you may only have to take a few more sessions of laser hair reduction which means you will be investing a little more money a little more time laser hair reduction has no side effects at all so all that may you may lose is a few more sessions to the clinic and a little more money buying extra sessions but imagine the confidence boost you will get imagine how easy your life will get imagine even if the growth becomes significantly thin and slow imagine your quality of life so i had a very very honest conversation with you and i'm happy to have such honest conversations because many times unfortunately we live in a society where people are trying to be more nice than it sometimes is required to be either they are on one extreme being extremely mm, critical about everything or they're just sweet talking everything they're mincing words putting things under the carpet but they are not saying the facts as they are because they do not they be it's it's a culture where we want to always present our best success stories but of course there are stories where the they are not our best success stories they are cases where everybody has got stuck you may whatever profession you are and whatever quality you're offering of course you have also had breakdowns so every skin doctor every aesthetic clinic has breakdowns in laser hair reduction where some people say i am tired of taking sessions but i still 
still have to come back for more sessions but worry not even they say that the hair growth has become thinner the hair growth is happening very very slowly in some areas the hair growth has completely reduced so yes their quality of life has definitely changed and the more they take responsibility of working on the inside to become healthy they are going to get complete results too i really enjoyed having this conversation with you did you like it let me know good night